One to go. And there's uh, a really super talent. 19 years of age from Ekaterinburg. Fourth in the World Championships, should have been at the Olympics. There was all that stuff about Dushenko. We won't go into that, but uh, those who know their skating will know that this guy was hard done by. But he's won Shanghai. He's won in Bordeaux. And he's the favorite here. Maxim Compton for Russia with the music by, by uh, Ravel. Just got the triple out. Called Salco to begin. Unsteady on the triple, but made it. Absolutely fantastic. Really nailed that one. Yeah, another stumble as he came out of that triple axel. It was very good, but was it enough to uh, take Han Yu from his uh, top place in the podium? It doesn't look like it. Certainly for the second mark, I'd have Han Yu in front. Just a couple of flaws there, and that makes the difference. It certainly does. I, I tell you, with the, the grade of execution that he's, he's going to get, Triple Axley threw a couple of points away just with that little turn on the end. It, it's so cruel because he did so much so well that quad toe was uh, just sensational salco was good had a bit of a struggle on the landing of the triple toe loop on the end of the combination there so all that's going to be reflected in the judges grade of execution and of course he doesn't really have the sa skating skills that hanyu does no. so that second mark can't be there i don't think the program's a match for what hanyu did so he's not going to be first we don't think well, we're pretty sure. Will he be second? Machida, 87, 82, some seven marks behind. I don't think his second mark, Cobden, is going to be as high as it was for Machida. Not for me. No, it's going to be close, I think. There's that quad sound at the beginning. You see, checked hard for the triple toe. Little off axis, left foot just caught the ice on the way out of that. Here's that toe loop, though. Look at this. That was an absolute cracker. Lovely running edge coming out of that. And uh, he was a bit off axis on the triple axle. That forward outside edge went into the circle a little bit, so his body weight went out. 
and uh, that makes you land on an inside edge instead of an outside edge and it's really really hard to maintain control so he had to put the turn in on, on the end of that good piece of footwork although not as difficult as Han Hughes I don't think and uh, spins I think he was getting the levels but I don't think he'll get the GOEs Will he be in the shake-up? Certainly been the shake-up for opponent place. Yeah. But how far adrift will he be in Han Yu? Right now, you sense this competition is going to be Han Yu's to lose tomorrow. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I think the, the battle is going to be for silver and uh, bronze. And, of course, Javier Fernandez, the pressure is somewhat off now. Yes. So perhaps he can come back strong tomorrow. Who knows? It's going to be a heck of an ask, though. He's eight. Marks back on probably third. Let's see where they place Cobton. Yeah, it's very close, but he's uh, just under a mark behind Machida. So it's third place. For